All right, Nevin. Here it comes. When I was a little kid, I kind of had this problem. And it's not even that big of a deal. Something like 8% of kids do it, but whatever. It's, for some reason, I don't know why, just kind of sit around all day and draw pictures of dicks. What? Draw pictures of dicks. Dicks? Like a man dick? Yeah, like a man dick. I just sit there for hours on end drawing dicks. I don't know what it was. I couldn't touch the pen to a piece of paper without it drawing the shape of a penis. That's fucked. No shit, it's really fucked up. Here I am, this little kid, and I can't stop drawing dicks to save my own life. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host with the most time boy, the boring for watching time boy TV. Got, got, got. You know what's going on. Today I got that JFKT, aka from 2008. So it's some vintage Supreme. Got that mini red BOGO. And you'll see why I am wearing this t shirt today. And as you guys just saw, dicks be everywhere for this shit, bro. Oh my god. For this retail resale station, well, welcome. Estimations are back. This is week three of fall, winter 18. My man's. My man's artists be drawing dicks everywhere, man. I don't, penis is like Jonah Hill, man. I don't know. I mean, R.I.P. to the guy. Uh, not trying to make fun of him or anything, but I thought, I, like, as soon as I saw the, like, the drop on Supreme New York's Instagram page, I was just immediately like, holy shit, no, no way. Like, I was like, oh, that's perfect. It reminds me exactly of Jonah Hill. But anyways, that was just a joke. But I didn't want to per, uh, uh, show you guys a little bit of background information of the artist. Because I myself had no idea who the artist was. I'm not going to front about that type of shit or anything. But pretty much, it's Mike Kelly for Supreme. He's an American artist. Uh, born in Wayne, Michigan in 1954. Active in Detroit's upstart punk scene. Kelly moved to Los Angeles in the mid-1970s. On the West Coast, he developed an in der practice spanning drawing and painting performance video installationist assemblage and sound incorporating found objects and folk tradition kelly interrogated american popular culture and the rituals of youth he died in 2012 at age of 57 now i cannot read for shit because it is summer i apologize for my shitty reading but that's a little bit of background for you uh so that's the main collaboration for this week and besides that we got probably the best accessory of the season drop in that is the scale but we'll get to that later. But pretty much, you know how this works. Before I start, you know what I gotta say. You gotta bless yourself with that good karma. If you wanna cop that scale, if you wanna cop that good ass photo tease, finally with the red BOGO in the bottom corner, then you gotta subscribe to the channel. Yo, that's some good luck. I'm telling you, if you guys have been with me since last season, y'all know that it works. Y'all get blessed with good karma. Y'all may not think it works. It takes one second. Just click the red button. Bada bang, bada boing, and you're subscribed to Tomboy Down Below. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. And of course, my second. Public service announcement is StockX situations. Please don't be that guy selling for dirt cheap. I do these to make a good resale, make a nice little profit for everybody. It's not StockX fault, but it's more the people, the kids fault who just listed mad low. But anyways, enough of that. Let's head into it. You know how we do it. Least hype to most hyped and least resell to most resell. And as always, we're going to start with the camp caps. First, we got the Connect 6 panel retailing for $48. So this hat, I mean, it's it's all right. Nothing crazy. The only thing that I do like is how the back gets a Supreme above the strap. But other than that, I'm not going to talk much about it because there's no room for profit. But as I always say again, I'm going to say this one more time. If you guys like something and it's for you, then cop it. I'm just here doing retail resale. But if it's personal, cop, definitely cop it. Yo, it's for you. You like it. Go get it. Next, we move on to the Obama beanie, which I find very funny, but I also don't like mix mixing politics into streetwear. I'm not really all about that, just how Nike did with the Ka Kaepernick situation. I mean, I like to stay away from that because everyone has their own views, and it just starts a lot of problems. But, I mean, this is a fire hat. I really like the cream color. It's going to be retailing for $32, and a multitude of colorways as well. There you can see, oh, somewhere up and around here. Let me move over a bit so you all can see a bit better, man. You know, my bad, my bad. Then we got the colored speckle beanie. This will be retailing for $32 as well. Only color that I like out of this is the white. It looks like some Fruity Pebbles ice cream. Oh my god, shit. That shit will be smacking right now. Um, <laughs> sorry, a little bit out of track. Looks like a galaxy on the black beanie. That's what it kind of looks like and reminds me of. But fire beanie if you're going to cop for yourself. But again, not great for resale. Next, we move on to the Reflective Ripstop Camp Cap. $48 is the retail on this. Honestly, it looks like it's a little bit of corduroy, reflective. Actually, it's not corduroy. It's just that it looks like it's like some, it looks like grid. They did this before last season, the summer type hat. I honestly don't know how they'd be coming out with so many goddamn hats. Like, every single week, a new, 
like four new hats. I don't like. Uh, it just blows me away how many designs they have, but they do repeat some, but not all. Now let's head into some lookbook pieces. We got the crest long sleeve top, dropping for eighty-eight dollars, dropping in a blue, brown, white, black, and it looks like a reddish burgundy. Retail is eighty-eight dollars. I mean, I can't even see the image right now. My eyes be freaking schmacking, but like, it honestly looks like a normal. No, nah, like I would not cop this. Re resale again is gonna be below retail. Don't even bother copping unless it's a personal cop. Once again. Now move on to the Gons shop vest. This will be retailing for $148. It's quilt and quilted cotton blend with fill and lining. Full zip closure with patch pockets at lower front and embroidered logo on chest. Now this will be dropping a multitude of colors as well as white, turquoise, blue, red, and black. Again, a great piece to not copy if you're going for resale. Nothing really crazy. The design itself, am I a big fan? Not really. Am I a big fan of the Gons logo? Hell yeah. I actually have one of their hoodies over here. Oh, one of his hoodies. Um, I like the logo, but just not on this vest. Not a great piece, in my opinion. Another item we move on to that was supposed to be dropping last week, uh, well, was rumored to be dropping, is a leather trucker vest. And if y'all can see by sub community, it has hella, hella, well, to be exact, 4,640 downvotes against 800 upvotes. So, you know, those 800 people are most likely copying for the personal, or they're just playing y'all. This is the leather with Jacquard logo viscose lining and snap front closure, hand pockets at lower front with chest pockets with snap closures. Once again, great piece to not go for and retail on that, John, is $500. Blows my mind. Another item we'll move on to is a reflective small box tee. Now, you guys know they normally always drop every single season a small box logo tee. Last season, they also did it along with the zip-up hoodie. Here, we got the reflective one. It's an all-cotton jersey. So, pretty much just the logo is going to be reflective. You cannot really see the BOGO itself that well because it's gonna the reflective material blends in with the Supreme written on it. But... Definitely a cool piece to go for, especially if you know you'd be taking flicks with them chicks in the flash. If not, though, I mean, not resale is not going to be there either for this item, so don't be trying to cop that. Now we move on one of the worst, literally the worst pieces of Fall Winter 18 that I think is absolutely horrendous is this Champion Label Coach's Jacket. This will be retailing for $178. I mean, some people may like this, like, that's fine, like, I good for you, like, I like different stuff. But this shit is just absolutely disgusting and lazy. On the front, you got nothing. Champion on the left, as they always do, the champion does itself. Um, but the back just makes it so much worse. They literally just have the tag they normally put on the bottom left of the item. They just decide to plaster it on the back and call it a day. Like, it's water-resistant poly with pile lining and snap front closure. Hand pockets at lower front with the woven patch at back. Made exclusively for Supreme. Um... Just, nah, I really don't like that one at all. Another lookbook item that we'll move on to is the floral logo tee. Now, what I did see in the beginning in my Fall Winter 18 preview is that this piece is an absolute banger. However, retail is going to be $78 because, because it is one of the greater quality tees. My favorite, though, is the rust. It literally looks like the box logo they dropped along with this one right here. Oh, I'm ruining it a bit, eh? They, uh, the rust one with the blue logo on top. It reminds me just of this. However, retail $78. Uh, I'm going to be passing on this. I'm only going to be going for a few items, and we're going to get into that at the end. The la one of the last lookbook items we're going to is a trademark hooded sweatshirt. Now, what I do got to say about this. Small logo, yes. However, recall SS18, right? Recall it. Hold on. Recall SS18. Remember what happened with this t-shirt? Oh, fuck. Uh, you see what I gotta do for y'all? I gotta ruin my perfect setup. Look at this t-shirt. Small, the same exact logo, yet, guess how much this John fetches now? Like, 120 beans. 120 beans for that t-shirt. Well, different colorway and size and shit, but whatever. But this hoodie, it's a risk. It's a risk, but $158 retail. If not, it's a great item to personalize, I think. And if you look at it, the same colorways are dropping for the box logo this season. So I would cop. I'm I'm still debating on it. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be, what my move is gonna be on this. But it's a heavyweight cross grain fleece with an embroidered logo. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's about all the lookbook pieces. So now let's head into the collab. We're gonna go into the Mike Kelly Supreme Ah Youth Work Shirt. Uh, I'm not gonna talk much about this, as you can see up here. It's not a, gonna be a great piece to go for re uh, resale wise. It looks like a nice personal item though, nice little like nice little work shirt, I guess you could say. Uh, it looks like it has some pockets up here and Supreme on left chesticle. However, 148 retail, it's gonna be another pass for me. Then move on to the rayon shirt called the Love Hours. 
Now this all over print design, I really don't understand it. However, I know a lot of the OGs in the game will appreciate this type of shirt slash design. For $168 retail, uh, 148 pounds, 168 euros, and yen, we got 28,000 yen. Nah, 24,000 yen. Y'all shit got expensive over there, I gotta say. But it's another great pass for me. Uh, now we move on to the next two collab pieces that I will pass once again on is the Mike Kelly Supreme Love Hours hooded sweatshirt. So it's the same design as the rayon shirt. However, just plastered on a hooded sweatshirt. $198 retail expected is kind of hefty for me, even if I did like it. So it's just going to be another great easy pass. So then we'll move on to the I Youth Work Jacket. We have the work shirt, but then we'll move on to the work jacket. Now these two images up here, you can see on the back and front. Uh, retail is going to be $288, but these same in images are going to be on the deck set. So it's kind of sick, but again, uh, going to be sitting up on the site for a fat minute. Now, two pieces that move on to that are getting a little bit cheaper as we go on is the I Youth Crew Neck, $158. Now, it just has, looks like it has the mug shots of four. Now, I don't, oh, it's on the back. That makes sense. So there's four mug shots on the back, four mug shots on the uh, front. Now, basically, they're going to be using these eight mug shots on the decks. This shirt, I mean, this crew neck and a shirt before. And so, yeah, let's keep going. Then move on to the uh, youth long sleeve. Here we got the mug shot of what looks like to be a teddy bear. Now, what I got to say about this collection is dropping in hella, hella colorways. So, you're going to have options and it's gonna, not going to be too much of a hard cop. Next, move on to the Mike Kelly reconstructed her history sweatshirt. Expected retail for is $168. Uh, I'm not really feeling this hoodie that much, to be honest, but I am definitely feeling the t-shirt that's coming from this. We got the mini BOGO on the front and a signature on the front. I'm actually on the back. BOGO on the back, signature on the back. I'm getting confused with all these items. Now, this is going to be another easy pass for me, but what's not going to be a pass for me is a hiding from Indian's tea. Now, let me say... What I've been wanting for so long for Supreme to drop is a tee with a little BOGO here. Because I just like these photo tees. The little BOGO. Like, you know it's Supreme. It's not crazy loud. It's kind of subtle. Like, nothing obnoxious. But this will be retailing for $48. This is going to be an item I'm definitely going to be going for. Which colorway, though, I do not know. But that beige-looking colorway is looking hella drippy as well. Sorry to interrupt the video right now. You know what I'm saying. I'm sorry, but I forgot to mention the skate decks. Now, these skate decks might be releasing in a full set of eight, just how the newspaper deck set did a few years ago. I'll put the screenshot right up here. It explains how it says, in the, it says like, you got to read the words carefully. It says it might be sold as a set, or you can try copying all of them, which is all eight decks, which is a crazy amount. Uh, it might be possible or not be possible. Resell on this is not going to be anything crazy. Um, the decks, it's just too many. Like, they're nothing crazy, nothing like really wanted. Retail on them is, damn, I honestly just checked retail, retail on them is $88 a pop. Oh, uh, that's expected retail, Supreme Hustle, and all of them already posted, some people got them early. I am thinking they're going to be sold as a set, but not sure, but if you guys are going to cop, let me know, because I want to know. Now back to your regular scheduled program. Another tee we go on to is the Supreme I Youth tee, which I discussed the four mug shots again will be used on the four in the front, four in the back. Now this does have the mini BOGO on it, however, I don't think I'm going to be copying this one because I'm just not really feeling this one, to be honest with you. The mug shots, I can't relate to it, and I only like rocking items that I can kind of relate to and know about, and I don't, as I said before, I don't know a lot about this artist. Next move on to the goddamn, my favorite piece out of the whole collection is the Mike Kelly Supreme Empire State Building, which is why I put that clip in the beginning of Jonah Hill drawing his addiction to dicks. Now, this does have hella upvotes. It's going to be probably the second most hyped item of this week. Has the Empire State Building, New York City Supreme, New York City Supreme collab with the big dick on it. Shout out to my 7th grade notebook. That has to be looking at what I would draw when I was immature as a kid. But, hey, it's fire design. I really like it. Like, a lot of people be hating on it because it's a dick. And you, why would you be walking around the dick? But I, I, don't know, I just find it mad funny. Uh, I'm definitely going to be walking that into school with that. Now, move on to the best accessory. One of the best accessories, not the best, but one of the best, is a plastic and stainless steel digital pocket scale. Maximum weight is 700 grams, so you can't be putting up your pounds. Uh, actually, I don't know what. Yeah, honestly, y'all could be wearing all your fucking weed on here. Y'all trappers, this is made for you. Expected retail is $36. Definitely going to sell out mad fast. Hopefully, they make a lot because it's nice and easy to store. And when, normally, when they have accessories that are nice and easy to store, they do make a lot. However, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for watching. 
so I'm going for the scale Empire State Building tea and the other Indian tea uh, retail uh, the resale for the scale I expect to be around eighty dollars it's not gonna be crazy because accessories lately haven't been doing crazy at all they're just like some sick ass accessory however you can start charging your plug hella bread to use your scale to trap his weed and shit you know what I'm saying I don't want to get too much into that because that's some illegal substances anyways so definitely go for the scale expect that like, you could probably make $40 I'm Empire State Building will probably make $40 as well, depending on shipping and tax, and then go for that embroidered hoodie. And that's about it, guys. Oh, before I end this, make sure to enter the giveaway link in bio, y'all. Free $25. You can sell on eBay, straight sell, $25. Supreme Bouncy Ball, all yours for free. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed me putting this out a day earlier than I normally do. Good luck. Bless y'all. Peace.